Hello friends at home. In this video, I am going to be going over pages 27 and 28. If you are feeling pretty good about this number line counting on addition and you don't feel like you need me to walk you through these pages, you are more than welcome to stop this video right now and you can just complete 27 and 28 on your own. But if you are feeling a little bit like you'd like me to walk you through it, you're in the right place. I will do that. So again, just to repeat myself, um, if you want the extra help, that's what this video is all about. And if you are feeling good and you don't feel like you need me to walk you through it, go ahead and do it right now on your own. So the first one here, they had kind of drawn out for us. So I just went in and uh, marked it up a little bit. Our first number was three. So we took our first big jump to the three. Our second number was one. So we did one of our little ribbit hops, one hop. And that left us at the number four. So our answer or our sum for that one was four. Uh, looking now at number two, remember we always start with our first jump is the bigger number. So whichever um, number is bigger, no matter whether it's the first or the second number, that should be our first jump. And then we count on the difference. So in this case, our first number is eight. So beginning at zero, we're going to take a giant jump all the way to the number eight. That's our first jump, okay? We go to that first number. Now this second number, those are the little hop hop that we take, the little ribbit ribbit. So we go from the number eight and we go two ribbits. So ribbit one, ribbit two. And the number that we land on in this one is 10. So we put our 10 here, and that tells me that 8 plus 2 equals 10. All right, moving on to number 3. Our bigger number is the 6, so we will start with the 6. So from 0, we're going to jump all the way to 6. That first jump, we do one giant jump. The second number, those are our froggy hops, our ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. So we're going to take three of them, ribbit one, ribbit two, ribbit three, and we land on the number nine. So for number three, six plus three equals nine. Giant jump to our first number, and then ribbit, ribbit hops to our second number. Go ahead now and turn the page to page 28. At the top, it says show how you count on to add and write the sum. So we look at our two numbers, four and three. Four is the bigger number. So we will start at zero and take our first giant jump to the bigger number, four. Three is our next number. So those will be our ribbit froggy hop. So we'll say ribbit one, ribbit two, ribbit three. And we stop at number seven. So our answer, four plus three more equals seven. Now they want us to come up with the equation. They have given us the jumps. So that first giant jump landed us on six. So our first number is six. Then we did ribbit one. So one ribbit hop, that's our second number. And when we did that ribbit hop, we landed on this number seven. So our addition equation for number two would be six plus one more equals seven. Taking a look at our word problem here, it says Sophia ate three strawberries in the morning. So go ahead and circle three strawberries and ate two more for a snack. So now you can circle two more strawberries. How many strawberries did Sophia eat in all? So that is what we're trying to figure out. We want the total amount of strawberries. So she had three in the morning and two for a snack in the afternoon, but how many did she eat all together? So it says count on to find the answer. So if I start with three, which is my bigger number, and I count on one, two more, then I would say three, four, five. So how many strawberries did she eat in all? five strawberries. Now it says what happens if your first add end is six and you end up on nine when counting? So if we look up here at one of our number lines, if our first add end was six, and I'll use a different color just so you can see it better. Um, so our first big jump, if we landed on the six, and then we end up on the nine, that would be ribbit one, ribbit two, ribbit three, 
What did we do? Well, we took one, two, three hops. So going from six to nine, explain what you did. We added three. You could also say we counted on three more, okay? So I hope that if you were still feeling a little iffy about this math lesson today, now you are feeling a little more confident. Again, I explained at the beginning of our lesson today that this is just one method. Counting on is one method. It's something that as we get onto bigger numbers, um, it's a method that we can use um, to very quickly count up to add. If you're more comfortable using your fingers or your cubes or your 10 frame, I encourage you to do that. But I do want you to at least be aware of this method so that when you are faced with a situation where this might be the best way to add, you will know how to do it. Okay? I hope you have a great rest of your day, boys and girls. Goodbye.